The ruling British Conservatives have lost another by-election to the House of Commons and also suffered significant losses in the local elections on Thursday. Labour opposition leader Keir Starmer spoke of a direct message to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak that was to make room. It's now time for a general election to the lower house and a change of government. The next regular election date will be in January next year at the latest, but we expect it earlier. And the Conservative Tories lost around half of the almost 1,000 local council seats they had previously held. Even the Liberal Democrats, who only play a minor role in the British Parliament, won more seats. The opposition Labour Party recently conquered the West Midlands metropolitan region around the megacity of Birmingham. And the mayoral elections in London and the uh, metropolitan regions of Manchester and Liverpool also went to the Social Democratic Party. The result in England reflects polls suggesting a change of government in the UK. Prime Minister Sunak must call a general election by January 2025 at the latest, as I said, and the opposition Labour Party has made big gains in elections in England and Wales. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has been urged to call a general election very early. Make way, let's hold a general election, said Labour leader Keir Starmer on Friday. Prime Minister Sunak's Conservative Tories had previously suffered those heavy losses in the local elections and also lost a seat in the House of Commons to Labour in the by-elections in Northern England in Blackpool for a parliamentary seat. Labour candidate Chris Webb achieved a significant lead over the governing party candidate. Labour won the Blackpool South constituency by a margin of 26%. That's the third largest lead over the Tories in a by-election since the Second World War. It was the 11th by-election defeat for the governing Tories during this legislative period. And Labour leader Starmer said on Friday that his party's landslide victory in Blackpool South was the most important result of the day. Voters in Blackpool South had sent a direct message to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. People have had enough after 14 years of failure, 14 years of decline, said Starmer. The country wants a new beginning under the Labour Party. The by-election in the Blackpool South constituency was called because the local Tory MP had to resign due to a lobbying scandal. At the same time, local elections, as I said, took place in England and Wales on Thursday, and these were seen as the last big test of sentiment for Prime Minister Sunak before the upcoming British general election. With most of the votes counted when I wrote this, Labour gained almost 170 council seats by Friday evening, gained control of eight more local councils and filled several new mayoral positions. With 430 seats, the Tories lost almost half of the seats they had tried to defend. And as I said, the Liberal Democrats and the Greens also gained seats and the Lib Dems a lot. The official results of the local elections were out on Saturday then. We are looking at one of the worst, if not the worst, result for the Conservatives in local elections in the last 40 years, said pollster John Curtis, and he told this to the BBC. Prime Minister Sunak admitted that the loss of dozens of mandates was disappointing, but many results uh, were still pending when they talked to him at the time. But he would be fully concentrating on the task at hand, which is to achieve something for people across the country. Oh dear. Based on the results of the local elections, very early the BBC already calculated a national result of 34% for the Labour Party, 9 percentage points ahead of the Tories. And the pressure on the ruling Tories from the right wing continues to increase as well. The right wing populist party Reform UK, founded five years ago by Brexit champion Nigel Farage as the Brexit Party, has a strong appeal to disillusioned Conservative supporters and is likely to become a major threat for the survival of the party. The election to the British House of Commons, as I said, must take place in January and Prime Minister Sunak had indicated that he wanted to hold it in the second half of this year. A poor performance by his party in the local elections is likely to further increase the pressure on him, as we could see now. And there's already talk of a conservative collapse. 
British Prime Minister Sunak's Tory party is falling deeper into crisis with this defeat in the local elections. But will Sunak face a vote of no confidence soon? Well, I mean, the defeat is catastrophic. There's no doubt about it. After almost all votes uh, have been counted, it was already clear that they lost around half of their seats, as I said. And Rishi Sunak was all the more relieved to celebrate the few conservative victories, such as the re-election of the mayor in the Tees Valley region in northeast England. But what he didn't mention was that Mayor Ben uh, Hutchin had hidden as well as possible during the election campaign which party he belonged to, so he didn't say that. It said he won as a popular local figure despite running for the Conservatives. However, Sunak's Tories suffered a defeat in the by-election for the House of Commons already, as I said. And uh, Blackpool, definitely, it was nothing to celebrate for the Tories. But um, they still celebrate one mayor. That is uh, quite an interesting part to, to look at this. But with a view to the general elections, the Conservatives are likely to be alarmed by the fact that in Blackpool South, the right-wing populist Reform UK party was only around 100 votes behind um, the, the Tory party. And Reform UK also achieved some impressive results in the local elections and cost the Conservative party uh, numerous seats. And party leader Richard Tai said on the BBC that his party would be the real opposition to Labour in the future and that the Conservatives were doomed to decline. And commentators emphasized that local elections are only of limited significance for parliamentary elections. But a nationwide survey by the Opinion Research Institute YouGov also sees Sunak's Conservatives in free fall. Only 18% would vote Conservative and Labour comes to 44%. And there had been rumours that these figures could lead to a re revolt against Sunak among the Tories. But the Daily Mail headlined, Rishi plotters give up and go to the pub. And in other words, the coup plotters give up and go uh, just have a beer instead of doing it. Conservative MP Andrea Jenkins, who had openly called for a vote of no confidence against Sunak, explained in the BBC that the party should never have parted ways with former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. It was a mistake to overthrow Boris, she said. She doesn't think there will be enough votes for a vote of no confidence against Sunak, though. But we have to find a role for Boris again. And the message for Rishi before the general election is clearly, wake up finally govern in a really conservative way or we will lose, she said. Shortly before the local elections, Sunak had successfully pushed his flagship through Parliament, uh, namely the plan to deport boat refugees to Rwanda. And with his radical expulsion policy, he not only wanted to pacify the right wing of his own party, but also undermine Reform UK. And neither seems to have been successful. Moderate conservatives are watching with concern where their party is drifting. Dominic Grief was attorney general in David Cameron's government and has since left the Tory party. And he believes that only a course towards the political center can save the party. He said, my concern is that the Tories will lose the next election badly and then move further towards right-wing populism in the short term. And that will alienate even more voters from the centre, he fears. The centre is the only place where you can win elections in Great Britain. And uh, that probably is true in other countries as well. But if you want to know more, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.